morning everyone, how are we all? Welcome back to my channel and to a very quick impromptu start to my vlog. How is everyone? I'm going to do a little weekend vlog. It's September the 16th today, so we're midway through September already. Wild, absolutely wild, honestly, beyond crazy, I don't know where the time's gone. We're heading into town today for a super chill um, little just day looking around. The weather's absolutely stunning. Apparently it's going to start raining pretty much from now here on in until the foreseeable, so we're like, why don't we just go into town and have a really nice start to the weekend. So that's the plan. Uh, we walked with the girls around Wimbledon this morning, which was so nice. Obviously we've got Ivy now until um, Wednesday next week, so that was really lovely. The weather was so nice and warm. Just a really good start to the weekend. I'm really looking forward to this vlog. I feel like it's going to be super chill and doing all of the stuff that we just love. So yeah, look at the blue skies. Lovely blue skies. Very sunny weather indeed. Hence why I've got a little shirt on. This was from the charity shop. <laughs> Sarah's bugging me because of the tricks. Um, so yeah, this is the shirt I picked up in the charity shop vlog, which you would have seen two videos ago. This was from St. Christopher's, originally from Zara. Secondhand September has gone very well. Started with some um, Uniqlo shorts. I'm a little via trainers. I also want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Sky Cinema. I'm going to come on to that a bit later on in the video because we're going to have a whole movie night tonight. But I'm so excited about this evening's film. It's a little bit scary. I feel like it's a bit of a thriller, but it's going to be amazing. So I will be talking more about Sky Cinema later on in the vlog. But I just want to say a big thank you to them. As always, it's always a pleasure. And I feel like you're going to like this month's film. All right, it's Zara staring at me now, so we really need to go and catch the train. Let's go. Tired girlies, bye. See you soon. Sleep well. Bye. Did See you. My head. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we made it into town. It's such a beautiful day. We just got a little coffee. You guys, if you have a pret near you, what's it called? A caramel. Um, uh, Shaker, pret caramel yeah, if you've got a pret it's a pret shaker caramel blondie. It's delicious. Got a shot of this. Sorry, my camera just ran out of battery. Um, I had to swap it out. Not battery, memory. Anyway, um, we've come to John Lewis because Zara found some plates. And she really like, oh, they're cool. Oh, I really like them. She sent these the other day and I was like, I feel like I want to go and have a look. How nice are these? Tomato. That is so cool. What is the brand? Do you know? Oh, Caroline Gardener. It's very cool. Caroline. That is literally Caroline. <laughs> Caroline. Caroline, no? Cara, Cara, C A R A L. Caroline. Ca it's Caroline. I'm. Some things are just British. I like the pear one, I'm not gonna lie. Are we doing it? No, because we've got a pear one. This is a very poor brand, I very much enjoy this. Wow. I like the melon. I like them all, to be fair. Very cool. What was I talking about before? I was talking about a pret, wasn't I? Yeah, I was talking about a pret drink, basically. It's a caramel blondie, and you added coffee to it, anyway. It was really nice. Yeah, we was having a little wander around town. We've got no agenda. I have a ring stuck to my finger there. Oh, God, it looks swollen on camera. That I basically needs to try and get it cut off because it's warped in the gym. I keep my rings on in the gym, so I'm wandering around Jewelers and coming to John Lewis to try and get it taken off, but we look at the homeware first. I really, really like these plates. As you know, we've been collecting some plates for a plate wall. I think that would look so nice. You dressed like one today, actually. <laughs> Where's this for? You're saying by the fire? Really? Really, really? Yeah. Can you tell Zara was born in October? The day before Halloween, I basically have a You witch. are, you are a witch, correct. Oh, John Lewis decor is really nice. Oh, I like this. It's a very cool set, little pumpkin spice mug set. That's cool. Our little gold pumpkins, LED. And just turn them on at the bottom. They're really nice. Oh, bacon bottles. What are these? Spooktacular chocolate orange cookie mix. Oh my god, is that a giant gingerbread? A giant gingerbread skeleton. You're that. Not you when you wake up. <laughs> you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> oh my god, I love these little gorse plates. How nice are they? We've got very different tastes. Yeah, we do. Oh my God. Why are you on the pumpkin theme? 15 pounds. Oh, it's a pumpkin garland. Oh, okay, that's fine. That I can get on board with. I really like this little gorse plate. Six pounds. Should we get this? No. Right, cool. Love that for me. 
the ring debate continues. Well, it's not a debate, we're just trying to find a jeweler. John Lewis had a huge queue at the watch repair place, so we're scrapping that and going for lunch instead. <laughs> um, we're going to a place called Lena Stores. We've been here loads before. Um, it's a really delicious restaurant, and we're going to the Marylebone Bon store now. So it's actually one of the biggest ones they have. And it's really affordable pasta. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head on in. Rounding off lunch with a whopping great big slice of tiramisu, just for one. <laughs> now Zara sharing how delicious this is. Looks our favourite side. It's a very square piece. I know. I don't want that much though. Just like a little. A little mouthful. Gorgeous. Okay, guys, this is, look at that. I finally got it removed. So I went to a Stephen Storm in Marylebone. They've been open since 1937. Very lovely chap called Igor. Igor? No, no, he's a sales manager. No, I know. Oh, just the Igor. Igor, the sales manager in the Marylebone store. Remove the ring, let me show you. Look at that. It had to be cut because my fingers were swollen, swelled, basically. But they have just said that although they work with gold, if Luke yeah. takes this to a jeweler's, yeah. that they might be able to fix it. It's well, they'll will. They can just it's melt it back malleable together. Material. They can Do you know it what? Back. No, honestly. Yeah, I'm and just have it extended. That's easy. I cannot believe I literally had to go in there and I went to shake the guy's hand at the end. <laughs> Yeah, cheers for that, mate. Take anyway. that. Um, oh, do you want to go to the plate store? Or are you... No? Okay, that was just a kill time. Right, we're going to um, grab some snacks for our movie night tonight. I'm kind of done with being in Central. That was truly quite the experience. After the ring disaster, I'm kind of ready to go home. So I'm just in Waitrose getting some snacks. I was just using the toilets. I've got some popcorn and some crisps. Film snacks are the best. Because I feel like I just go to town. I'm like, right, let's get it all. <laughs> we're about to head on the tube and head home to the girls. Okay, we're back from town and... I actually didn't buy anything. I mean, it's kind of a weird weather at the moment. It's still really warm and I haven't obviously done the transition between summer wardrobe to autumn wardrobe, so I don't really want to buy anything. Um, obviously, trying to be savvy with money as well, secondhand September, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get any. Thank you. Didn't get anything other than some training socks, <laughs> which is the most boring thing, but. I have so many holes in my socks. I literally wear socks and I'm like, you've got a hole in those, so you know that, right? I'm like, Cool. So I'm trying to have gym socks and then home socks. Basically, the gym is ruining me. It's ruining my socks. It's nearly ruined my hand. I cannot believe that. Honestly, so grateful to that jewelers in Marylebone. I even left them a review on Google. The trap was so nice. Um, yeah, they didn't have to do that, but it was very, very glad that they did. Anyway, we're gonna have a movie night tonight, as I mentioned. So, snacks. I got some proper corn, sweet and salted popcorn because you can't have a movie night without popcorn. I also got some Tyrrell's truffle and sea salt crisps. Tyrrell's crisps are the most delicious crisps. Zara calls them Tyrell's. I also got some candy kittens, which I've only tried recently and really actually enjoy them. But Jamie Lang, who was in Made in Chelsea, actually owns this company. Um, so these are the wild strawberry flavour. They're made in London. And then just some watermelon um, slices, which, which I've just found out that Zara doesn't like watermelon flavoured sweets. This is news to me. It's because you don't listen to me. Apparently I don't listen to her. Anyway girls, are you excited for a movie night? Because guess what? We're dragging the mattress in the living room like the good old days. Yes we are! And you girls can sleep with us in the living room. Even though it's like 26 degrees. Woo! How exciting. Honestly. I've never known a more needy dog. Maggie, do you want to come <laughs> sit with me? I mean, no, this is fine. I like Dad. I like Dad. So as I said at the start of the video, this segment is sponsored by Sky Cinema. As you know, I'm part of the Sky Cinema Club. So every single month I review a film, whether it's a Sky original, Hollywood blockbuster, or anything in between. And this one's film I am so, so excited about. So it's called Knock at the Cabin. So I've just loaded it up on the sky glass behind me. As I said, it's a bit of a thriller slash horror. So the plot is a family take a vacation in a cabin and they are actually taken hostage by four people. So it's a bit of a dark storyline. The family are uh, taken as a like sacrifice to avoid the apocalypse. Obviously these people who are taking them hostage aren't 
you know, of same mind. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a, if you've ever seen Get Out or that kind of vibe of film, I'm presuming, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be like that. It's got a star-studded cast, and I think the whole idea is that the family spends the film trying to get away from these slightly crazy people. So that is the film we're going to watch this evening, so I'll report back on what we think. There's also a Sky original release this month called God is a Bullet. I have the plot here, and it says, When Vice Detective Bob Hightower finds his ex-wife murdered, and daughter has been kidnapped by a satanic cult, again, another bit dark film. Bob is frustrated by bumbling botched official investigators. Bob quits the police force, gets tattoos, and infiltrates the cult to hunt down the cult leader who essentially, I'm guessing, is responsible for his wife's death. So that sounds very, very dark, but also quite good. I actually like the sound of that, I'm not gonna lie. And the third film that is released on Sky Cinema is called Marcel Shell with Shoes On. So I think this is probably gonna be aimed more towards children. Um, Marcel is an adorable one inch tall shell who ekes out a colourful existence with his grandmother, Connie, and their pet, Lint Allen. It's described as a hilarious and heartwarming story. So that sounds a little bit more lighter than the two films that are coming out. All of the film trailers will be linked on the Sky Cinema YouTube channel down below. Of course, we are watching it on the Sky Glass as well. I love this TV, honestly. Everyone I talk to about it, I'm like, you've got to get one, they're amazing. So the pop-ups this month are celebrating some of the best directors in Hollywood. So we've got Christopher Nolan, we've got Steven Spielberg, We've got Ridley Scott, you know, some of the most incredible films in here. E.T., Jaws, The Terminator, The Dark Knight Rises, Quentin Tarantino, Cronenberg, Naked Lunch, Crimes of the Future, so really big Hollywood directors. So they're going to be popping up all in Sky Cinema, which I'm very much looking forward to. There's so many films coming out this month, and it's getting cozy, and it's all cooling down, so it's like nice to just hunker down and watch some cozy films. So that's exactly what we're going to do tonight. I'm going to get out of this shirt, put my cozies on. We're also making pizzas this evening too, so it's going to be a lovely one. I really, really hope you enjoy this month's film. Let me know if you do watch it. Everything will be linked down below, of course, but we're going to get cozy for the night and give it a watch. We're going to start making the den. Girls, if you're not going to help, you need to skedaddle. That's, that wasn't just for you. We didn't do that just Thank for you. Thank you, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Ivy's like, this is so weird. My what? parents don't usually drag mattresses into the living room. Do you want to have a sleepover? How cozy is this going to no. be, though? Oh, girls. Night, girls. We're keeping an ear tonight. <laughs> this is so weird. I've always said this would make a good um, bedroom. It this would be a big bedroom. This should have been a bedroom. Oh, I hope this is my bedroom. Sure. And then we'll make my bedroom the cozy living room. How weird does this look? Looks like we're moving. <laughs> yeah. They feel like this is their lucky perfect. day. They're like, this is perfect. Nope, not for you. No, Maggie, no. No. These always look like nipples, don't you think? Um, sure. I've, what do you think? So for dinner, we're actually cheating slightly. I got this in the food shop this week. It's ready to roll pizza dough. So I haven't had the time to actually make it. It's been such a busy week. So yeah, we're doing homemade pizzas, slightly cheating. But um, yeah, I just need to roll this out and leave it to proof half an hour. But the girls are having their dinner as well. Ivy is much better at taking her time with the food, but Maggie's still two years on. <laughs> Has to be told to wait. Maggie, wait. There we go. Just rolled out the first pizza door. There we go. So I've got the uni out here, and you've got to do the temperature check and see what we're working with. So you point it towards the stones. We're at 240. It needs to be at 350 before we can deploy the first pizza. There we are. Not not too far. My mum got us a bottle of Whispering Angel. Do say thank you for looking after Ivy. And we had some last night, as you can tell. So there's a little bit left over, so we're having the rest tonight. Pizza done. It cooks them in like 40 odd seconds. It's incredible. And this is a pepperoni with truffle oil because 
Zara is a bougie gal. Oh, that looks so good. Let's eat. Look how good these look. Well done, oh my Zara. God, well done, Zara. They look amazing. That smells so good. So before we start on the film, um, I'm giving Zara a facial because I am such a nice person. Hi, welcome to my spa. <laughs> Relax the music on Google. And then you can pop your head down here. I've got a bowl full of warm water here. Some lovely products. We've got a little face mask, got a face scrub, face wash. Close your eyes. Do you want me to put some cucumber on your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> if you could see this angle. Look at yourself. <laughs> right, let's go. Don't know if I'm in focus. How was that? That was honestly unreal. Sorry, so that can be a masseuse. Maybe yeah. if my career takes a turn, I can offer masseuse. To and I've ended up with both dogs. Look, no, this way a little bit to the left. That's it. <laughs> Cute. I just want to sleep now. <laughs> okay, we just finished the film. What did you think of it, Ivy? <laughs> what did you think of it? Um. That was weird. <laughs> uh, okay. A very peculiar, good storyline, but I did not expect the ending at all. Weird. Very weird. I kind of thought I knew how the film was going to go, but then... I'm going to give it a four. Out of what? Out of five. Three and a half? Four? Three and a half. Yeah. It was good. I didn't... I don't know. I just felt like the plot, the storyline was just a bit strange. Anyway. Um, I am so tired. It's way past my bedtime. It's literally quarter to 11 at night. So I'm going to catch you guys in the morning for another lovely Sunday. <laughs>
of us over the years. So, so nice in the vintage books. And this is the little candle I got in home sense. It's a pumpkin one. This is rest you in there. Well, hi. <laughs> so it's Sunday evening and this fool left his vlog camera at home. Not ideal. However, I'm back. Oh, you missed. And not really missed anything. We just had some wine in a really lovely pub in Marylebone. We just sat and talked for like three and a half, four hours, which was just so lovely. Dodged a really big rainstorm, which I feel like we needed in London just to cool the air. But I'm doing that stingy thing again. We've got loads of delicious food at home. So Zara's just finishing up drinks in town. I was like, look, I'll head back, feed the girls, take them for an evening stroll and start prepping dinner. Obviously Zara and Katie actually used to work together years and years ago. So I was like, you guys just sit and chill. I'll go back and make a start on dinner. So Zara's gonna be home in like 20, 30 minutes. She's literally just on the tube home. So I thought I'd make a start on dinner, which is gonna be a potato pesto gnocchi with courgette, chili, and garlic. Delicious. I mean, we were gonna get food in town, but I was like, mm, I'm gonna have to go back, let the girls out, have a little bit of food with them, and then head back in. I was like, nah, let's have food at ours. So yeah, that's the plan. So I'm gonna get the ingredients out of the fridge and get cooking. Also, it really made me laugh. I was reading through the comments of my most recent vlog. And so many of you said I triggered your Alexa by accident, so I'm really sorry. I was meant to edit that out in the, um, in the edit, but I forgot, so apologies. I'm gonna pop some music on, but I hope it doesn't trigger your A-L-E-X-A. <laughs> dinner is served this is looking cheesy look at how good that looks oh my goodness um i've also just made a cheeky little gin and instead of lemonade Leno and gin and tonic but with lenostra lemonade cheers we just finished dinner it was absolutely delicious i really enjoyed that it was like a oh look at you guys you getting the snuggles you go back tomorrow oh no wednesday you go back on wednesday nope i'm staying here i'm a london girl now um, Zara's my mom. She is. She's your new mom. Look at you, little one. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, the gnocchi was delicious. It was like it was almost like a pizza gnocchi. It was like oh, it was really, really good. I'll write the recipe down below so you guys can make it. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna wrap this one up because it's quarter past nine, and I'm probably gonna go to bed after this. But lots of love to you all. I'll leave everything linked in this video down below. Take care, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.